The TriSat automation tool, additional features in the DevSecOps reference implementation, and new steps to secure IBM Cloud accounts. All on this episode of IBM Cloud Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements from IBM Cloud. To kick things off this week, I wanted to take a look at a new tool that is going to make it faster and easier to get started with IBM Cloud Satellite. Based on many client engagements, IBM Garage for Cloud has worked across IBM teams to create the TriSat automation tool. TriSat is a white box automation tool that enables you to set up an IBM Cloud Satellite location on a virtual private cloud infrastructure with just a few clicks in two or three hours. Best of all, TriSat usually requires just five configuration parameters to easily set up resources, create a satellite location, provision the Red Hat OpenShift Kubernetes service, and configure the satellite link. To learn more about the tool and give it a try, check out the link I put in the description of this video. Next up, we've got some new capabilities and improvements to the DevSecOps reference implementation. Introduced earlier this year, it provides a complete secure software delivery lifecycle automated with IBM Cloud Continuous Delivery and other IBM Cloud services. First among the new features is support for SonarCube, an open source platform that helps with the continuous inspection of source code quality by performing static code analysis. We've also added new image signing validations that check and validate the input for the correct format. And finally, we've improved the getting started experience by adding a new IBM Cloud dashboard tile. Now you can find all the DevSecOps documentation in one place with a new homepage that is consistently refreshed with content. To learn more about the reference implementation, hit the link below. To finish up this week's episode, I want to give some new info on how we're securing IBM Cloud accounts. Our goal is to provide the most secure public cloud, and that's why we will begin securing user identities and accounts through credit card verification when signing up for new accounts. Now, no need to worry, we won't charge you for signing up. You can still try IBM Cloud for free. Users that create a new account will be asked to add credit card information to verify your identity and secure your account. After you register, you are equipped with a pay-as-you-go account, and you can access the full IBM Cloud catalog, including all free and light plans. If you already have a light or trial account, there is no change at this time. And if you click on the link below, you get a full rundown of all the changes. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Cloud Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in the cloud now.